Hello everyone. Uh, so, I created a video previously on how to build out a second Raspberry Pi and use it as a marquee controller in RetroPie so you can display the marquees when you start a game. Now, of course, the whole purpose of that is to get a marquee, a marquee LCD monitor um, to make it look like an actual arcade uh, marquee. And a lot of people purchased a 14.9 inch marquee LCD monitor. However, when you hook this up to the secondary Raspberry Pi, there are some uh, resolution issues that will occur. So as this video is going to show, uh, when I start Dig Dug here, um, you're going to notice that the uh, marquee image itself is going to be all scrunched together. Uh, it's not going to take up the full resolution of the screen. Uh, also, uh, when you first hook it up, you may notice that the resolution of the monitor is a little bit screwy. So what this video is going to show you to do is to do two things. One, we're going to, we're going to set the resolution on the monitor to the proper resolution. And then two, uh, we have to change the resolution of the marquee uh, images to match the resolution that we changed the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi to. And to do that, we're going to have to access a Windows machine with PuTTY installed to access the uh, second Raspberry Pi. So before you begin making these changes, I just want to note that I can't be held responsible uh, if any of these changes happen to screw up your uh, LCD monitor or anything of that nature. Um, I've done these settings a number of times on a number of the LCD monitors that I have and have not had any issue. But that does not mean that you may run, you may not run into something. So again, I can't be held responsible for anything. Just use these uh, settings at your own risk. So if you're okay with that, we can go ahead and proceed to uh, make the uh, changes to the resolution. So from your Windows machine, uh, we're going to access the program PuTTY to um, get to the uh, second Raspberry Pi remotely. Now again, if you follow the video that I provided on how to set up a second Raspberry Pi for your uh, LCD uh, marquee. Uh, you should already have this installed. If not, just follow the embedded link below to install it. So we're going to go ahead and open up PuTTY and we're going to type in the IP address of the second Raspberry Pi that we're using as the LDD LCD marquee. And then we're going to log in as is uh, Pi. And the password again is Raspberry. Unless you changed your password, then you type in your password there. I'm going to type in clear to just clear the screen. So once we get to a command prompt, uh, we're going to type in the command sudo, S U D O space R A S P I dash C O N F I G. This will bring us into the uh, Raspberry Pi configuration page. Once we get in there, uh, we're going to scroll down to uh, option 7, advanced options, hit enter, and then we're going to scroll down to option A5, resolution, set a specific screen resolution, and hit enter. Now the resolution that we want to apply here, if we scroll all the way down, we want DMT mode 85, 1280 by 720, 60 hertz. 16 9 uh, ratio. So once you find that, hit your tab button so that OK is selected and press enter to click OK. It's going to come up with a confirmation message saying the resolution is set to DMT mode 85. Make sure OK is uh, selected and press enter again to OK that. And then once you're back up to the main screen, tab over where it says to go to finish. And once you tab over there and select it, hit enter. And now it's going to ask you, do you would you like to reboot now? Uh, select yes and hit enter. And you hit enter and it's going to come up with a message saying a fatal error and that's fine because the uh, mark, LCD marquee is rebooting, the Raspberry Pi is rebooting. And if you look over to your Raspberry Pi, you'll notice that it's coming up and it should be at the correct resolution. So we're going to close that out and close PuTTY out again and then we're just going to wait for it to come back up and once it comes back up we'll go ahead and start PuTTY again. Okay so once you verify that the uh, 
Brett, that the, your LCD marquee is back up again. Uh, we're going to go back into PuTTY. And again, we're going to type in the command, uh, the IP address of your uh, Raspberry Pi that's on the LCD marquee. And we're going to log in again, uh, Pi, and then your password, which should be Raspberry, unless you changed it. Make sure you type it in correctly, unlike me. So again, we're going to go back into uh, that command, uh, the Raspberry Pi configuration. So we're going to type again. We're going to type in sudo space r a s p i dash config, and then enter. Now, and we're going to go into advanced options again. And we're going to go to over A2 over scan. Okay, and then we're going to tab where it says select it. And it's going to say, would you like to enable compensation for displays with over scan? We're going to say yes. And we're going to hit enter. It's going to say that it is enabled. Hit press enter to hit OK. And then we're going to finish. It's going to ask, do you want to reboot? Yes. And again, it's going to reboot again. We're going to wait for that. Again, get the message. Just click OK. And then close out. And then we're going to wait for it to reboot. And then we're going to go back into it one more time. OK, so now that we've enabled overscan, now we're going to go back and disable overscan. Now, the reason I've done this is because uh, when I've set up these monitors before, sometimes when you set the resolution um, sometimes it just acts a little squirrely uh, to say the least so for good measure I just turn on over scan and then I turn it off again and you do not want to leave over scan on permanently because what happens what I found is that about every two and a half to three minutes your uh, your LCD display is gonna flash uh, it's gonna like go off and come back on again and so we don't want that to happen. So we want we want to turn off overscan. Uh, so we just wanted to only enable it once, and then we want to turn it off. So again, you're going to go into Putty, type in your IP address again, and we're going to log in one more time. And again, we're going to type in sudo space raspi dash config. And then we're going to go to advanced options. Again, go to overscan. And then this time we're going to go, we're going to tab over to where it says no. And we're going to enter no. It's going to come up and say display comp overscan compensation disabled. Hit OK. Go to finish, tab to finish. And once you select it, hit enter. It's going to say, do you want to reboot? Hit enter for yes. And once you get the, you'll get the fatal error again because it's rebooting. And that should be it. The resolution should be set properly now. And uh, now we can go to the final setting uh, to fix on our uh, LCD marquee for these uh, marquees to display properly. Okay, so finally we want to resize the uh, marquee files to match the resolution or else they're still, or else they're still not going to display properly. So again, we're going to open up PuTTY again. We're going to type in the IP address of the uh, marquee or the marquee controller, which is the secondary Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to log in as Pi. Password is Raspberry, unless you changed it. Looks like I may have typed it in wrong. There we go. And I'm just going to clear the screen. Okay, so. The first thing we want to do, we want to change to the marquees uh, directory. So we're going to type in C space marquees. And then I'm going to type in the word, letters ls. This will list all the folders and files. And you'll notice that now you may have multiple folders here, depending on how many, uh, depending on what marquee files you want to show for each system. So this one I have one that's arcade, which is all my arcade games, and then I have Mega Drive, which has a few uh, Sega Genesis uh, games in there, um, just to give as an example. <clears throat> and then you have one file that's default.png, and this is the default uh, graphic that comes up after you exit a game. Um, 
So we have to go into, we're going to start with the marquees folder, but after this we have to go into each individual folder and run the same command. Um, you could create a program that automatically recruits in each subdirectory and does this, but I just go into each one individually and run this. So first, now that we're in marquees, we're going to run the command to change that default.png file to the correct resolution. So we're going to type in sudo space m-o-g-r-i-f-y space dash resize space 1280 by 720 exclamation point space star dot png. Now I should mention before we hit enter on here, this command is part of a magic K. Uh, and if you followed my documentation or my followed my video that I did on building a secondary uh, Raspberry Pi for your marquee controller, part of the steps was to install Image Magic K onto that device. And the reason why we did it was because of situations like this. So if you don't have um, so if this command comes up and says it doesn't work because it's not installed, then you'll have to go back to that video and go back to the documentation in there in the video to uh, find the step where it says to install the uh, magic uh, image magic K. So once you have the command uh, typed in, we just hit enter, and it'll take a second, and it should uh, resize that file. Um, and then now, now we have to go again. Now we have to go through each uh, subdirectory that's in there. So next, we're going to go to arcade. So we're going to type in ls space arcade, or I'm sorry, we're going to type in cd arcade. My bad. Okay, and you'll notice that we're in the arcade now. And then we're just going to hit the up arrow, so we get that command again. Once we get the command again, we're going to hit enter. Now. It, does, it doesn't notify you what it's doing anything, so you're just going to have to be patient, particularly if you have a lot of marquee files in there. So I only have five in here at this time for demonstration, for demonstration purposes, but if you have like 100, 200, 300 image files, it's going to take some time for this to complete. It can take up to an hour to complete. It may even take longer. You just have to wait and be patient with it. Uh, because it's converting every single PNG file that it finds, it's converting it to that 1280 by 720 uh, resolution. So, and even as you can see, even with five files, it's taken quite a while to do. And now that it's done with the five files on there, um, but again, if you got hundreds of files in there, it's going to take a while. It's going to take up. It could take up to an hour. So just be patient with it. So, with that. So once that's done, now we can go to the next subfolder, which is Mega Drive. So we have to go back to, uh, first thing we're going to do is going to type in CD space Attila forward slash our keys forward slash, in this case, Mega Drive. Hit enter. Now I'll bring you to the next subfolder. And again, hit the up arrow again until you get your command again. And then once you do that, hit enter. And again, same thing with the arcade. If you got hundreds of uh, marquee files in here, it's going to take a while. In this case, I only have three files in there, so it should come back up here in a minute. But again, you just have to be patient and let it run its course. And so now you would go ahead and repeat the same, these same steps uh, if you had more folders. For example, I have. I only have Arcade and Mega Drive as an example here, but you may have NES, you may have Daphne, you may have SNES. So essentially what you'd have to do is you'd have to repeat the steps. So you'd have to type in uh, CD space Attila slash marquee slash and the next director you want to go to, uh, which in this case may be NES. So you type in CD space Attila forward slash marquee slash NES, just make sure it's all lowercase because it is case sensitive. Hit enter. Uh, hit the hit the up arrow key to get the uh, Mo Griff, Griffey command. And then you just uh, hit enter and let that uh, update all the uh, marquee files in that folder. And you keep repeating that until all your uh, folders have been, uh, all your files have been updated in all your folders. And so once you've updated all your folders, uh, we are done. Uh, so basically we, what we would do is uh, we're going to close out a putty here. 
and then uh, everything should be completed and uh, we can go back to our arcade one up to make sure all the settings have uh, taken properly okay so now uh, we've got all our settings correct uh, now we'll go into uh, I'm just going to dig dug here in a moment and um, as you can see now once it pops up the marquee is there it's it's full size it's taken up the full screen and the resolution is correct now and uh, all your uh, marquee files since we changed the resolution on them should show up properly on this monitor uh, that's it for this video uh, if you have any questions just put them in the comments below and uh, hopefully this helped you out and uh, thanks for watching